I should probably design, I'm going to redesign my uh, flux inductors right now because I may still be building some. And that way we'll get access to the extra room. And yeah, I'll go ahead and set up another spot of, um, of graviton beams. Now, just for like different range or whatever, different effects, we'll, we'll get a slew of these um, Gauss cannons too or something, I don't know. I don't think they're as good, but that's okay. And we'll just get a group of them so they can be independently targeted. There we go. Like that. Cool! We just added... By doing nothing else, by unlocking a technology, we have 31 extra Gauss cannons on the ship. That seems pretty good. Obviously increases its production time. Ooh, we can upgrade one right away. Yes, please. Now we could do that with our other ships as well. But let me hold off for a second and see. Europa has methane cryovolcanoes, and it's pretty cool. There you go. Yeah, there's nothing that says that the planet can't be cold and have the magma sort of freeze or solidify quite quickly after coming up to the surface. It's entirely possible. Uh, hydroponic farm. And I also want a fungal farm for quicker growth. And then auto build and go. And hopefully the auto build also takes care of pollution. That I'm actually not sure about. More colony ships. You're going to go there. Are you a bad fish? Thanks for the resub. Sorry there's no pop-ups. Probably missing plenty of them. 23 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> How does one conquer a star? I tried it. I put a flag on it. The star ate my flag. Well, no flag, no country. So I guess that tells you a lot right there. Okay, we can go, right, because this fleet is set to guard duty, so they're not auto-waking up. But I think the other Flux Inductor just arrived, so we're going to let her rip. This has not been upgraded to the latest design. It's only Flux Inductor that's parked somewhere else that got upgraded. So this fleet here is only over 200,000 strength worth, worth of strength versus the Guardian, who's sitting at 60,000. So statistically, it says we should do okay. It's still some really imposing um, instant attacks, which means our... Um, our cruisers might Galactic get killed. News Network. After a yeah, I don't care about that supernova. All right, what are we looking at? Two hundred thirty-nine thousand. Yeah, archaeologists could potentially get focused down by the Orion defense, but overall, I think we're gonna be okay. Another colony ship over here. Do we want to colonize over here? Medium arid poor. Yeah, not really a high priority. Oh, I think I'm gonna send it over here to Colden Prime because it's about to become a planet from a gas giant. You can colonize there. I'm going to skip this. I don't remember how much money I've got. Hold on. Oh, lots. Okay. So I'm quite comfortable saying we're going to buy the Robo Miner, then build the automated factory. Then get a hydroponics farm. Then a fungal farm. There we go. Buy that, then auto build. And leave me the hell alone. Watch Quill get stumped by the garden. Could happen! I'm going to hands off that one. I'm just going to say AI take over. We're going to watch. Okay, Cylons, wow, they are colonizing pretty aggressively. I mean, I guess I am too, but I don't care what I do. Research complete. The combine has been successfully upgraded. More command points. We are starting to use more command points. Oh, there we go. I want more hyperdrive. The, com the combine. Hyperdrive harder. Uh, troop transport, you are going to meet me at the rally point. Also, I suspect our fleet is at Orion. Yeah, it is. So we just have to start the fight. Attack! Take command. They're just going to be automated. Frump, 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 frump. Battle at Orion Prime. Guardian looks very cool. After you killed the Guardian in uh, Mu 2, uh, there used to be someone with a unique ship that would join you, which was really cool too. The pla taking the planet's going to be awesome. We're also really looking forward to the technology. So these are the ones that just have the 60 graviton beams. I right, got some missiles coming in in both directions. Oh! There goes one of ours right there. And that's what I figured. Our cruiser was we're probably going to get uh, targeted down pretty aggressively here. We may only... No, we're going to lose a second one. Oh my god, those beams! Six, as soon as the Graviton beams came within range, we just melted them. We didn't have to lose any ships whatsoever. 
I just threw them in there because it was going to be awesome. I think one of our battleships would have been fine. So, and certainly, you know, two would have been fine. The archaeologists were just being thrown away for no good reason. But I kind of wanted to do it because I knew it would be awesome. So there we go. Guardians have been defeated. Uh, the fleet explores. We uh, the, the fleet explores the planet and find what seem to be Orion's ancient ruins. They, their continuous study allows your scientists to develop new technologies. What did we get? Death rays, black hole generator, quantum detonator, zentronium armor. Is this the same as we got last time? I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. I think it may have been. It used to be, it used to, you'd get four out of a pool of like, I don't know, seven techs or something like that. So it would change from time to time. There might have been, I don't remember, you might have always gotten death rays and then the rest were sort of randomized. It might have been something like that. Anyways, Zentronium Armor sounds like it's probably pretty good. Death rays sound like they might be a lot of fun too. We don't know if they're necessarily better or not, but we're going to go and upgrade our ships with death rays anyway, because death rays. So the flux inductors here. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell the math here, but if we do this, our hull went from 2,700 to 3,600, so quite a bit tougher. And, um, death rays. Oh, there it, oh, there it is. Having a hard time scrolling all the way down. Let me do that, and I'm going to get, like, three groups of death rays. All right. Shift, control. No, that would be really nice. Oh wow, this is this fills up a lot faster. A group of ten. Ooh, and a group of five, and a group of four. So what are the specs on this? Yeah, it's it's our comp. Look, our military strength has gone down a lot. I don't understand, like, <laughs> the game balance or something is weird. <laughs> Are the death rays just crap compared to graviton beams? I mean, there's fewer of them, I assume. I mean, so their DPS, they advertise 3.12 DPS for a size of 50. Whereas our graviton beams have two DPS, so, you know, they're 60% of DPS, but they're like a quarter of the size. Now, each individual beam of a death ray does more damage, which means it deals with damage reduction a little bit better, but, like, that doesn't seem... Something ain't right. I mean, I guess that's it. Maybe our tech has just progressed past it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to replace the Gauss cannons with death rays. We're going to keep the graviton beams there. Boom. We're going to do that and make sure that you've got the Zentronium armor. There we go. So we still have some death rays because they're, they sound awesome. That's it. Just rule. Just a rule. The rule of awesome. Uh, right, you're still using the Xeon missiles, which is good. We're just going to increase you to Zentronium armor, which is going to be fine. And right now, we're not using any of the other ship classes. Oh, did we ever spend the extra space on this design? No. So we're going to do that now. And just give you more missiles. Boom. Excellent. And, yeah, you can be upgraded for one penny. Upgrading our armor for a penny? That's great. Space factory, I believe... Right, you were going to build me a jump gate here. Another colony ship. Uh, we've already got one going to Orion. I don't remember where else we were sending a colony ship. How's this planet? Eh... I mean, I could just blow things up at the front and then colonize them instead of having to take them over. Here, you'll do. Death rays have never been that great in, in Moo. No, you mostly wanted the uh, particle beams in Moo. In uh, in Moo two, what do you make of this? Death beams were still interesting because what they would do is kill crew on the opposite ship, which actually made it easier to do boarding stuff. Armor the Titan. Well, we haven't designed the Titan yet. Like we've done nothing with the Titan yet. It will come. But not now. I mean, I guess we could design it now and start building it. We'll have to see. I think all our planets are relatively busy, but I think if our homeworld stops is done building colony ships soon, then maybe we'll take another look at it. You're gone already, which is nice. Um, yeah, but your population cap hasn't really gone up there, which I didn't realize. 
Uh, clean up any pollution you've got now. I guess finish the space elevator, that's fine. And then, after that, maybe we start building Titans. Another colony ship. Babylon 4. Medium, barren, ultra-rich. Yeah, hold on, we gotta go and colonize that. Jeez. That's great stuff. These scenes are really cool, but I'm gonna skip them because I'm getting impatient. Robo Miners, automated factory. I'm not clicking at any different speed at any point there. That's fine. Shake the mouse around. Fungal farms. That's fine. Buy that. Auto build. Troop transports. To there. I don't think it went, actually. No, it, like, deselected or, or some damn thing. It still happens sometimes. I'm not sure why. We have one of our flux inductors over here. Our flux inductor is our battleship, right? Yeah. So this fleet here, I'm guessing, yeah, at this 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 is a fleet of one battleship and a bunch of troop transports. As 130,000 force by itself can go and take out this fleet and whatever defenses are at uh, Rishka. So I think we're going to go and make a move against the Cylons now. In fact, I suppose I could declare war now and blow this up. And I think that's going to be fine. Um, what I think we're going to do, our Orion fleet over here. Oh, we have a colony ship in place. Colonize! We'll let this one play, because it's Orion. The Mechlar have interfaced with Orion. Interfaced! Once assimilated, what problems will that solve? What problems will that create? It's going to solve the problem of wanting to colonize more awesome planets? Do, do, do. So, this one I'm going to give manual love to, but I'm still going to start the same way. So I hit the build button, that might be a little bit more consistent. Um, okay, we'll start with that. I'll buy the Robo Miners, then work from there. That's going to be fine. Only one research slot? What a weird planet. But the production is huge. This is going to be like where we're going to build a lot of stuff down the road. All right. So, war fleet from here. Could go and move in here with the plan of just like blowing up a bunch of Cylon stuff instead of conquering. It's like, it's kind of overkill though. Okay, I'm going to move you there, but I'm going to take one of these flux inductors. So it's still going to be one flux inductor and three archaeologists. One of the flux inductors is going to come... Oh, over this way. There we go. Because then we've got a few different arcs and it also can protect there. So I won't start the war until these guys are in position. But then that's when we start the war. Good? Good. Dun, 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 dun. Overkill is best kill. Absolutely true. There's no such thing as too much overkill. More overkill is just right. Alright, maybe I'll just go now. Let's just go now. Sneak attack them? Sneak attack them. This is our war declaration. Alright, I'm going to take command. I, I want to see... Yep, that's our declaration of war. Vroom. And then all the troop transports. Alright, go. Troop transports are just going to stay where they are. So this is our variant that's also got the uh, this, the five death rays. No Gauss cannons. It's actually strictly weaker than our old design, but that's okay. So we can see our range. Oh yeah, and we got the fighter bays too, which have slightly higher range. The fighter bays never come into play. Well, they haven't yet because we mostly just one-shot the star bases. But if we did run, did run into a bigger fleet, then it would be more reasonable. And bring that down. There goes our fighters. You can see them streaking out. Point Defense was able to kill all incoming missiles. I'm actually curious to how well our fighters would do if I just didn't beam. 
Wow, we did not kill it in a single volley, including our fighters. In fact, our fighters are basically doing nothing, but there's not that many of them. And that's okay. They can help take out little frigates or some damn thing. <laughs> that's very satisfying. Hey, there's no planet to attack here. They're still using mostly silent or er, fusion beams. I'll make sure we make this lesson stick. <laughs> Someone's gonna learn something in this war, and that learning is gonna be, wow, I'm super under strength compared to these damn robots. Troop transports, please join us in the front. Make your way over there somehow. That's gonna be fine. What are you? Oh, you're a colony. No, that's a space factory. That's our colony ship. Colonized planet. The red one was the death ray. Uh, Robo miners. Automated factory. A hydroponic farm. And a fungal farm. And buy that and auto build. And the space factory will have to move to the front in some fashion. Thank you very much. We are raggedy <laughs> You know what? We'll non aggression for now. We'll get back to you later. But you not sneak attacking me while I'm in the middle of this other war would be nice. Just from a convenience factor. Election time. Do do do. And in practice, if we keep conquering territory, this is how we will win by just electing ourselves. It's time at. We can still play for about another 45 minutes. I forsake my vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Combine selects this one for the task. So, we're not quite there yet. I think we'd need, um... 250 plus 45 to 285 to elect ourselves. Damn, we're getting close. Assuming it's half, I'm not sure. It looks like it's you need half. Yeah, assuming where that little line is. Looks like it's at the 50% mark. Uh, right. Do you have an action this turn? So if I just grab the one flux inductor and go here... No, no, yeah, that's next turn. Oh, no, no, you can go now. Great stuff. So I'm leaving my troop transports fine, just in case. We're in attack. One ship against ten destroyers. These are not frigates. These are destroyers and a star base and a missile base. Let's see what happens. Greek Austrian, thanks for the sub. I was about to drink to you, but this is empty. I got to get some more coffee or water or something. Actually, I really should take a break. All right. Have fun storming the castle. Let's go and fast forward for a bit here. And bring that down. Okay, killed all the incoming missiles. Although, there'll be more, maybe more missiles over here. I don't know what they're packing. They're pulse on missiles. Oh, they got the warp in behavior. That's very cool. Oh my god, we might just lose the ship as is. Despite our ridiculous amount of overkill. Again, I am on total autopilot here. We are out of armor, or out of uh, shields, but our armor is actually a lot stronger than our shield strength. Oh, the death rays by themselves can take out these ships. So yeah, it's splitting up the graviton beams would actually make us fight these guys a lot better. And if we had the auto repair module in this thing, it would be able to tank infinity damage. So it's not a very well designed ship for fighting this. In fact, I should really encourage you to just take out one of the big things. Eh, it doesn't matter. You're not losing any more hit points anymore. Yeah, splitting up the Graviton Beams would actually be, like, really good. We would have been able to destroy that whole fleet in seconds. <laughs> I should have just right-clicked on the Starbase to start off with, because that's what we're really good at doing, and it would have taken out one of the biggest threats immediately. Same thing with the Missile Blaze. I love that we're shooting down literally every single incoming missile. <laughs> That was with a badly designed ship. Note. A badly designed ship, and we were fine. The shields went down a little faster than I was hoping, but other than that, we're okay. Uh, and yeah, we only have the eight bombs. But, we actually didn't necessarily need to bombard them at all. Can we still attack with this fleet? Yes, we can. Um, so, let's go and deploy two transports. That's going to give us more marines than they do. <laughs> 
That is a very that laser thing is very very entertaining, very satisfying. Even that's something that this game does better than Mu Two. When you get a stupid amount of lasers all put together, it just feels so good. You uh, be balanced and auto build. Leave me alone. Let me adjust our ship design here, of our flux inductors. I take this gravity thing, and I'll split into two groups of thirty. Even more might be even better. And in fact, we might want the secondary group to have like 360 to deal with more of these things, which might not be a terrible idea, actually. So 30 as a primary. Oh, we only have one more slot, so that's okay. And we still have the uh, the death beams. So we'll just go with another group of 30, so they can be independently targeted. Actually, we can get more than that now. There you go. Done. Excellent. And go and be upgraded. One to bar. Uh, you... Oh, uh, okay, so that's a pretty good planet. I think it's time for us to design our Titan. So, we're gonna... I guess we still need the, the mass drivers for a point defense, and I'll still want some bombs. Heavy fighter bays, actually, are really not proven to be that useful. So, we just want multiple stacks of graviton beams. I'm gonna want four groups of graviton beams and use that. Actually, maybe it's just use bioterminators. I don't know if it kills marines. This would let us just eliminate planets completely, though. I'm sure people want to see Bioterminators, right? So we'll go with three groups of Graviton Beams. There they are. This one actually will make 360. And just go with, like, 50 in there. That'll be good in case we happen to get swarmed. And then we'll have two... Uh, oh, this one is facing any. Didn't realize the system would put that in. We're going to put two primary forward-facing groups of Graviton Beams there. I guess with the Titan, the computer was automatically designing them to mostly do the 360, because they probably don't turn very fast. We not want definitely more point defense than this. We apparently don't need tons of point defense. And we're shooting down most missiles, and we're pretty tough. Uh, oh, oh, we need to save some space over here for... Well, first of all, battle pods will actually give us more space. The battle scanner, good. Structural analyzer, good. Um, for this big ship, the auto repair unit is going to be amazing. Especially combined with, say, just more hull. Um, shield capacitor, maybe. Or even more just recharge. I mean, you don't. You kind of don't need both. You go with, like, automated repair or more shields. Do you really need both? Not really. Black hole generators are fun, though. Let's throw a black hole generator on there. Even if it makes no sense. I don't care. How much space we got left? A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I added 35 nukes on the battleships. Thanks. I'll go and take a look at that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. du -du 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 more bio terminators. So each one has a chance of killing one population. So I don't know what the chance is. But if we put like 20 Bioterminators on there, at worst case scenario, maybe after a couple of phases it'll do that. Do I also bring the fusion bombs? I think we can just get rid of the fusion bombs. And then we can have another independently targeted stack of Graviton Beams. Three forty. Three uh, banks of 40 Graviton Beams facing forward, and then we'll add some more 360s, just in case we get swarmed by annoying bullshit. There we go, and 22 360s. It's got 260,000 force by itself. What's the variant Titan? Ooh, I like that! And then throw on some tattoos. Uh, we need to tell you to put on Zentronium armor. And... <laughs> Presumably... If, see, I don't like that it doesn't give you the combat stats here. But based on the text in the tech tree, it looks like they still have the numbers inverted. The Cybertronic computer should give us plus 100 as opposed to the Positronic computer, which is more expensive and only gives us like plus 75. Uh, we still don't have class 5 shields, right? Antimatter drive is our best drive right now. And that's pretty much full. Yep. We need a name for the Titan. So, oh, good name! This is going to be the Super Ride. 2Ds, E, and a 5. The Super Rides. Titan class ship. I shudder to think how expensive that's going to be built. So let's take a look at these, um, this battleship, which apparently got a bunch of nukes accidentally. Yes. Is that, that was me trying to add more Graviton Beams, right? Yeah. 
There we go. It doesn't have 360 targeting, but it does have the heavy fighter bays that can deal with some of the smaller bullshit, I think. Alright, good. Better flux inductor. 